Jace Tunnel here with the Mission Aransas National Estuarine Research Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. And today uh, we've got a special treat. Um, there, somebody had notified us that there are box jellies that are floating around in the marina. And if anybody knows anything about jellyfish, the box jellies are one of the most dangerous because of the venom. And they're pneumatocysts, which are the stinging cells. Um, and you know, people go to the hospital for these, people die from these, at least the ones that, especially the species that you hear about in Australia. And that's, those are the ones that you hear about where, you know, very few people survive. This is a different species here, but they do have a very bad sting to them. And so, uh, you know, if you're stung, um, you know, it stings, it hurts way worse than say uh, man of war that is probably the one that you're most um, commonly used to. These have, uh, they're probably about, you know, that big five, six inches in uh, uh, length, but then you look at the top of it and it looks like a box. It's got a square, square look to it. And so, um, now there is a mix of moon jellies and comb jellies you know they can feed on comb jellies and and fish and things like that but they were kind of associated with that we also saw some sea turtles in here that were uh you know feeding on these things um like a smorgasbord you know they're loving it uh let's see now these things uh this, i told you they've been found here in the gulf of mexico you can also find them in the caribbean uh, atlantic ocean and the pacific uh, with that, uh, let me turn this around and you can see one swimming along here yeah, is probably about two to three foot in size. Now, now that you've seen this thing here, uh, there is a, a professor here, uh, Dr. Brad Gimmel, and uh, he's actually from in Florida, but he's here visiting. And so one of the things that he's looking at is jet propulsion from these uh, animals. And so what I wanna do is be able to go in, look at in the lab. They actually brought some of these in the lab. And so we'll get an up close look at these and maybe we'll be able to talk to him if he's in there as well. So, so uh, watch for this next, next thing when we go into the lab. Okay, so now we're actually in the lab. And so Dr. Brad Gimmel uh, has brought one of these box jellies into the lab, taking photos of it and looking at doing some research. So let's go in here and get a closer look. Here's Dr. Gimmel. Let's take a closer look real quick. You can really see the box shape, the tentacles that come off, uh, four tentacles come off and they can branch uh, lower down Okay, so let's talk to Dr. Gimmel about maybe what type of research he's looking at here. Uh, so we're, we're kind of interested in how these guys swim. So, uh, you know, box jellies are really well known uh, to, to most people because they can pack a really potent sting. This guy is, is no exception. Um, but what some people don't realize is they're actually really good swimmers for a jellyfish. Uh, they're very fast and uh, we're interested in understanding just how they can swim so quickly because jellyfish are cnidarians, just like corals and sea anemones. And one of the characteristics, the things that define them as a, a cnidarian, is that they only have a single cell layer of muscle. Uh, it's only one cell layer thick. So, you know, for an animal to be able to produce this much power and thrust to move through the water uh, with only a single cell layer of muscle, we're kind of interested in how they do that. Right? Something of a similar size like a squid has really thick muscle that it uses to, to squeeze and produce a really strong jet. These guys don't have the ability to do that, but they can still swim quite quickly. So we're really interested to understand uh, how they can produce such a strong jet, swim so quickly uh, using relatively little energy and low muscle mass. Excellent. So uh, now you know what these look like. If you see them out in the water, uh, try to avoid them uh, because their sting can be really bad and luckily we don't see them around here that often and so uh, now you know what to look for. All right, see you all next time. Bye.